Well, it'd be a lot easier. It's a lot easier on your back and central nervous system. You'd still have two days. You'd have a max effort day. 72 hours, you'd have a speed strength day. On the max effort day, uh, here we rotate each week a maximal effort exercise. Uh, when you handle the same weight three weeks in a row at 90% or above, you will go backwards. This is science. It's called the law of accommodation. We've gotten by that years ago by just switching the major exercise. Each week we switch. And um, so basically, you know, you got a lot of max effort exercises. You, I'm going to name out a few, and you're just going to pick a few. Uh, the ones that work best, five or six, rotate them. A lot in the bench press, uh, like anything, we actually do two max efforts. So you might do an um, uh, incline and a decline, or a floor press and a seated. You want to do two because when you do this, you work up to the heaviest weight possible as fast as you can. The volume is low, so you want to increase the barbell volume somewhat. Because on speed day, the volume is going to be very, very high compared to this day. 25 list versus working up to maybe, you know, 500 bench, bench, you don't have a lot of volume. But um, our, a lot of our major things, we do a rack press. It's normally three pins. Right right to chest, mid-range, lockout. Uh, you can use three different grips. Always use, you've got three grips to break records with close, medium, and wide. Keep track of all these grips and all of these records. Uh, I never kept a, a book on how I got there. I only what my records are. Board press, three, two, one, board. Uh, those are the most common. You'll find out if you go up to four board and you can't do as much, that means your triceps are weak because now you've limited the range of motion. And uh, because uh, at the end of all lifts, you aren't as strong as you think you are. You, you can't produce great force at the end of all lifts. If you look in... Um, Practice science and strength training illustrates power clean. At the top of the first pole, force is going backwards. It's not going upwards. That's why the Olympic lifters should use bands on the bar. I mean, that's just the way it is. You know, the bar slowed down. You're, you're exerting zero, but if you had bands, it'd be pulling you down. Uh, floor press, again, three different grips. It can also be done with a barbell or dumbbells. So we do a lot. Um, uh, Clay Brandenburger years ago did a lot of floor press dumbbells for speed work just to give you an idea. And I mentioned incline, I like super steep, you know, at least pick two angles on the incline. Super steep or maybe 45 degree. Again, you got three different grips you could break a record with. Decline press, seated press. A lot of people ask me about seated, but if you look at the old timers, one third of the workout was seated, one third incline, and one third was flat bench. And uh, after all, your arms do move in and out, you gotta take the bar out, set the bar up and so forth. But you want to work yourself to a full range of motion. If not, you're just looking to get hurt. Um, I know a guy said one time, if you can um, press 300, you can bench 300. And that's pretty much true. But if you can bench 300, chances are you can't stand up press 300. So that shows you how important a seated press or even standing press is, you know, for, for raising up your bench press bench. Um, so, you know, um, uh, about once out of every and every month, uh, we would do a monstrous large amount of dumbbells. I mean, where you were paralyzed. You know, you did two positions, incline, decline, seated, flat, whatever you want to do. But uh, I like to take one dumbbell and I'd work up to three rep max. And um, I, you have to take with the heavy ones, I would have to take six minutes in between. But for instance, I did 13, 11, and 9 with 155s. And I did 23, 21, and 19 with 125s, all right? But then, that's just the beginning. Then you would change angle, and you'd start over with the dumbbells, high reps. Uh, you know, it's high, for hypertrophy. We're not bodybuilding here, but bigger muscles lift bigger weights. And a lot of guys aren't built anymore, especially the gear, guys that wear gear. They're just not built that well. So you're going to have to put some delts and triceps and pecs on yourself, upper back, a lot of upper back training. Um, so remember, you always use three different grips, and that's going to help a lot. Uh, another thing we do a lot of, uh, we'll, we have records with uh, mini bands, which is for us is uh, 85 pounds. Monsters is 125. Lights is 200, the way we double it up, put on the bar. Uh, they're very, very strong green. I used to watch J.M. Blakely and um, George Halbert use green with 350 pounds and do sets with it. So it was incredible. I couldn't even get it off the pin. And uh, so, you know, they do a lot of stuff like that. Same thing with chain. You can have a record with one chain, two, three, four, five, six chain. 
I like to do six chain. That was one of my favorites. And, uh, you know, six chain, and when you put them on properly, you want part of that chain on the ground. You don't want the chain dangling off the ground. You might as well use real weight. Doesn't make any sense. So, so learn, look at our DVDs and tapes, and you'll see how to use it. All right, so um, that's a lot of it. And you can use a, a, a two-set of chain, a mini-man two-set chain, a monster. What do you want to do? Constantly change. If you, as long as you change something small, you can uh, keep making progress. Once you start doing the same thing over and over, accommodation sets in, you're dead in the water, you don't make any progress. So uh, just always pay attention, switch around, always keep all your records. That's very, very important, What you're, like your incline close grip, incline wide grip, for instance. Keep all those records, and, and the goal is go in the gym, warm up, get up to the big weight fast can't break that record. Kenny Parrish in Georgia walk around with a two and a half pound plate. They called it the plan. They break a record by five pounds and they moved on. They're very advanced. I mean, Kenny had a 640 roll bench, George 625. So these were very advanced lifters. But they knew if they broke one record per workout, they were done. And I've, I've had people say, well, Louie, what is five pounds? Why would you just want to break your record by five? Well, here's my answer. If you broke your floor press record by five pounds every month, it's 60 pounds a year. You know, you'd be, you'd be sending me cat flowers and candy. So that's, it's hard to do, but that's, that's basically uh, how it works. So it's a lot more progress than you think. The key is progress. When you stop making progress, you got problems. So um, I hope that helps for Max Effort. <laughs>